Anil buys 12 toys and labels each with the same selling price. He sells 8 toys initially at 20% discount on the label price. Then he sells the remaining 4 toys at an additional 25% discount. Okay. Thus he gets a total of rupees 2112 and makes a 10% profit. Okay. With no discounts, what his percentage profit would have been? Do you know what is the problem with this question? Yay! Yeah. This number 2112 is going to help you waste your time. The examiner has put in this jelly lately so that you waste your time and you end up taking cat again next year. Is number ki koi value hi nahi hai. All my answers are in percentages. Everything is in percentage. Why I want? Why do I need that? Let me show to you how you should be doing this question without worrying about this. Okay. Let me assume all these 12 toys. Each is 100 rupees. Okay. Each is 100 rupees. The first eight toys. Now this is a mark price. Let's be assume mark price of these 12 toys. The first eight toys he will sell it at a discount of 20%, so 80 rupees. The next four toys he will sell it at an additional discount of 25%. 25% of 80 is 20, so he'll sell it at 60 rupees each. Okay. So what is the selling sales he will have? 18 to 8, 640. And 16 to 4, 240. He will get a total of 880 rupees. So his marked price is 1200 rupees. His selling price is 880 rupees. And he has a profit of 10%. That means his cost price is equal to 800 rupees. 880 upon 1.1. So what should he So if he was not giving any discounts, he would be selling at marked price. He will have a profit of 50%. Kya zoot ki? Because I time bar baat ke liye diya na. So get used to ignoring numbers which are not relevant. If the answer is in percentages, almost all the data is in percentages, most probably that will not be required. Is this clear? Let me give you a slightly faster method of doing this question also. Okay. I'll go a step further and try to save more time or give you an alternate approach. Whether you'll be able to save time or not will be a function of whether you are able to calculate the way I do or not. Okay. Now, let me put it this way. Eight toys are sold at a 20% discount. Can I say out of 12 toys? That means two thirds of the toys are sold at 80% of the mark price. Right? And the remaining four toys are sold at an additional 25% discount. 25% of 80 will be 60. Oh, sorry, 20. So 60. So one third are sold at 60%. Right? Of the mark price. What is this equal to? 18 to 2, 160 plus 60, 220. 220 upon 3. So his selling price, if the total mark price is 100, his selling price is equal to 220 upon 3. So what will be the cost price? There's a 10% profit. If there's a 10% profit, then the cost price will be 220 by 3 div divided by 1.1, right? 200, 200 by 3, 66.6. .6. His cost price is 66.6. .6. His mark price is 100. What will his profit be? Profit will be 33.3 .3 on a cost of 66.6. .6. It will be 50% profit. This is slightly faster. Okay. I'm not saying this is significantly faster. So you can pick up whichever of the two techniques you want to do. But all I'm saying is, end of the day, bhaiya, ye to khali time barbaad ke liye diya hua tha. Iska koi lena dena nahi tha sabal se.